great Tuesday evening, the second full night of the third month of this new year, 2021, to God be the glory for his grace, his mercy, to bring us all the way to the closing hours, really the closing minutes, right before midnight. And I had to, I had to go back because I didn't have a chance to read Psalms 112 and Psalms 142 this morning because run the late and everything, but it is applicable for this evening. Okay, so we all sometimes it's like, oh my goodness, why is this situation like this? And we sometimes want to complain or some people will call it whine or criticize within ourselves. Well, who should we go to when we have those type of thoughts? Like, oh, why is it like this? Well, David knew where to go. It says in verse 2 of Psalms 142, I poured out my complaints, right? Well, he used complaint singular, but we know good and well. We have plural, like, why is this, this person, this situation? We pour it out because the Lord has the capacity. He'll hear all of it. He knows the middle. He knows the details of the situation, the beginning, the end, the duration. So let's pour it out to our Father. And I showed before him all of my trouble. I hope we are doing that. Let's not go to this person and this on social media, and I know that that is a magnet for complaints. And I understand we have to vent. That's, that's natural. But ultimately, we need to go to our Father. When our heart, David says, when my spirit was overwhelmed within me, then thou knewest my path. The Lord knows the way that we will take. In the way wherein I walked, have they privately laid a snare for me. So, you know, David had plenty of haters. There was no shortage, but there was a surplus. And you might have a surplus of enemies this very day. You have to do what he said in verse 5. I cried unto the Lord. I said, thou art my refuge. He is our shelter. He is our haven. He is our sanctuary, our protected place, and our portion our inheritance, our lot, our wealth mm -hmm. in the land of the living. Praise the Lord. I'm listening to a song in the background, silver and gold. People want that. People want the trinkets and there's nothing wrong with enjoying the blessings of the Lord, but we know it's temporary. We know that we're here for a few moments and then that next person is going to be able to hopefully enjoy them, and then the next, and the next. Okay, that's fine, but that's not true wealth. We know that the source of wealth is when we abide under the shadow of the Almighty. In Psalms 112, it says in verse three, wealth and riches shall be in their house, and the righteousness endures forever. So let's focus on that which stays. It says that their seed, their children shall be mighty upon the earth and the generation of the upright shall be blessed. Who is that? Praise the Lord. The people who bless the Lord and fear, who respect, who puts him first, that delighteth, that loves him greatly in his teaching. So like I said, we can get caught up in what we see and what we hear and the situations here and we're, we're human God knows that we're in human flesh but in the meantime we want our desire to be toward the Lord it says in the second part of verse 26 of Deuteronomy 14 for whatever whatsoever thy soul desireth and thou shalt eat there before the Lord thy God and thou shalt rejoice. 
and thine household. The Lord wants us to be joyful in our place where we are, wherever it is, to be content whatsoever state we find ourselves. For we have not brought anything into the world and it's for certain that we will not be able to take anything out. So while we are doing the work of the Lord, the last part of verse 29 of Deuteronomy 14, and we shall eat and be satisfied that the Lord thy God may bless thee. We want the blessings of the Lord and all the work of thine hands which thou doest. That's true riches that will endure forever. All right. So let's pour our complaints to the Lord. Let's look to him and know that he's our refuge, our high tower forever and ever. Enjoy the presence as you go to sleep.